Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Gemini for the week starting March 28, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigilitarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who have subscribed already. And welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your like, your share, your private comments, your Google+. Plus. Thank you for all the love that you have been sending me. It truly, truly, truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now, my Gemini, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance, and I also shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you, Gemini, in the past position. We have the Five of Swords looking ahead, okay? Five of Swords is really about, there's an element of it is about, could be dishonor, okay? A dishonesty as well okay so you know it could be that you have been betrayed by someone where you have find out that you have been betrayed by someone okay where you have been disappointed by someone behavior okay but or maybe uh, someone words or you know communication as well because swords is about communication Okay, but it could also be that you were the one being, you know, uh, you know, being dishonest with others. Maybe you were the one who uh, have not been uh, truthful with others. Okay, and this is coming in in the past position. So you will have to see the other cards to see the energy for you this week. Okay, and let's see what we have in the near past position for you, my Gemini. We have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, great energy. I'm happy to see this card for you, my Gemini. Okay? Because the Page of Cups is really a youthful, emotional understanding um, of others. Okay? In terms of how you relate to others or how other people relate to you. Okay? Also, sometimes page, um, Pages are here to bring us a message. They come to deliver something, okay? So in the near past, you may have probably last week received some type of subliminal messages from, from spirit about love. Or it could be coming in from someone. It could be a new love that has entered into your life because it's, you know, it's in a, it's in a near past position. So it's a great energy because you see it's, even if she's not fully looking forward, she's still having this energy where it's just, you know, it's, there's a, how can I say, um, a beginning, okay? It's a very youthful beginning of growth in, in terms of uh, the things that we enjoy in love, okay? Such as, uh, you know, joy, passion, things of that nature. It's, it's great energy, and I think that it's time for you. You deserve it, my Gemini. And let's see what we have for you in the position of um, the future. The King of Cups. Great energy. It's looking also at the Page of Cups. They're not really looking at each other, but... It's it goes in the same direction, so it's a very harmonious harmonious energy. Wait, am I saying this word properly? Harmonious, yes. <laughs> and so the King of Cups is about love. Okay, so for some of my uh, Gemini women, you may have a man coming your way in terms of love. Love may be closer now than before, and that's a mature love because it's a king. This king is the most passionate and loving one. He's not afraid to communicate his feelings. So if you have uh, uh, been wanting to, you know, to get to know someone, know that if you decide to go forward, well, it's, it's in the future, you know, this person will, will be, you know, will be very supportive of you express, expressing yourself in terms of 
you know, interest in, in love or, or things of that nature, okay? And for my men, my Gemini men, it could be the same thing, okay? It could be that you are now interested in someone, okay? Or there's a someone, a someone new that came in because we see that this is, you know, Page of Cups is a message of love. And that message could have been just someone coming in or someone just being catching your eye or getting your energy in terms of interest and love and things of that of that sort. So it's a really great energy for you, my Gemini. And let's see what we have in a position of the outcome for you this week. We have the Five of Cups. Okay. So, you know, the Five of Cups, it's, it's good. it could be a warning, okay? So, you know, don't put all your eggs in the same basket, meaning if you have interest in someone, don't just go at 100%, okay? And make sure that, you know, yes, of course, that it's, it's mutual, okay? So keep some type of maybe reservation um, for that. Okay. But also, it could just be that the, there's some type of, because I think this card came out as well last week, okay? Some type of disappointment in terms of love. What we know is the full moon, the last full moon, which was last week, was in Libra, okay? Which is your fifth, fifth house. Venus is the ruler of your fifth house, but, you know, Libra also represents the fifth, the fifth house, what is the fifth house? Is a house of love, romance, okay? So when there's a full moon, it's an ending. A new moon is a beginning, okay? So last week was a full moon. So there may be some, some of you, my Gemini, that will be ending or slowly ending a relationship, but also fifth house is career, okay? And on a certain level, it's speculative business. So maybe you have been trying to do something and it hasn't worked, okay, something that you have been passionate about. You, it's not that it hasn't worked. You might have to work harder at it, or you may have to, you know, uh, realign your, your goal, okay? Because you still have two cups behind you, so you're not just losing anything. It just signifies that it may not go the way you have anticipated, okay? Or you may not get the answers that you were seeking, Okay, involving something else or involving someone else. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, it's it really is just energy at this moment, my Gemini. So you know, I feel that some of you have, have been maybe on a certain level searching yourself. You know, searching yourself in terms of love. Maybe there's a love that needs to end. Maybe a relationship that is over, and you you're dragging your feet. You know, you're looking at someone else. You're finding interest in someone else just to get out of this relationship or whatever it is. You know, this is really a general reading, okay? But it shows that there's, there's an amount of love that is available for you and you should seek that, what you already have. You know, you have this great love around you, okay? In terms of you wanting to build something here as a Five of Cups, you know, just, you know, review, ask for spirit guidance here seek your 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 uh your own counsel okay because gemini is able to um to look at things on a deeper level when things are not going necessarily the way they want in terms of relationship okay so i will end this reading here for you my gemini let me know how it resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses i love you